did somebody is you were talking to somebody here then right i was just broadcasting to other pilots that are out there oh okay it's it the the purpose of that is uh you always want to be communicating to let other pilots know what you're doing and where you're going what your intent is otherwise you don't want to be up there and have surprises okay so this way if somebody was about to land they get back to you and say oh they'd be they would have told me that they're inbound and what their intention is yeah okay they you're supposed to communicate your maneuvers and when you're around an airport and you're planning to land or take off you communicate what you're doing where you're at right here i need to close the door because there's these nests over here i don't want these is that what that guy does? Raises them. He raises all sorts of stuff. Really, that's right there. Yeah, let me know if I'm. You're fine. Interfering. If you get too hot, you can move that vent a little bit to get a little air. And then. This it, way. Yeah. guys were talking about when we meet on Monday. Yeah. Uh, leave the course. It might be fun. What's that? It might be a little windy. Uh, Is that what you were saying? It's, you get the heat coming off thermals, you know, in the uh, afternoons. But I'm going to stay over the river. Gonna, if you stay over the river, then I'm not going to be uh, as bumpy. Okay. Not as much heat. It's far, you go over the farmlands and you get a lot of heat coming. Old temperatures okay. Some temperature. Run the throttle up to 4,000 RPM, and then I'm going to do an engine check. Okay, we're good. Everything's in green. Take off set for T for crew. Traffic uh, 400 Tango Lima is uh, departing runway 20, departing over uh, Lake Chelan. Climbing at 750 feet a minute, 
Yeah, we won't go up real high here. We're just going to kind of go out over the lake, get up to Bear Mountain, go up lake a little bit. Just so you can kind of get a feel for it. Boy, it's amazing all that empty land, isn't it? Yeah. That back there, we never even see that. There's a lot of farmland up here you don't realize it's there until you're up in an airplane. Yeah. And it's everywhere. If we you get over the Walmart parking lot here, you can feel it get bumpy. Yeah. That's heat coming off the parking lot. It, it comes up this high. Oh, yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, we'll be sitting on the, like last night, we're sitting on the back deck. And we can see these lights up at the top here. It looks like they're just up no man's land, but I guess there's orchards all around them. There is. Okay, that's the beauty, is that right? Yep. Okay. Oh, it's a whole different world up here. Yeah. It's a great way to travel yeah. when it's calm. And it's not so bad. You get used to the bumpiness. Lisa's freaked out about it, and I get it that she would be, you know. It's, yeah. If you're not used to it, it freaked me out when I first started. Well, how, how bumpy has it gotten for you? Huh? How bumpy have, I mean, are you like... The worst case, the worst I've been in is with Lisa coming back from Sun Valley. That Sun Valley yeah. one. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty bad. See, this, this moving map right here, the red means that if we didn't change elevation, we're going this way, but if we didn't change elevation, that's more that way, uh, I would be, I would be, uh, you know, hitting that terrain. That's a warning that you're too low to Oh, that okay. And then you see. can zoom out here like this. This is my glide path. If I lost power right now, I can glide to that ramp right there. Okay. Yeah. 
Tell me those lakes. You know those? Yeah, Roses Lake, Wapto Lake. Um, and then, uh, what's the other one up there? I can't think of it. So the one on the right is that. I think Wapto? that's Rose. I think that's Rose. Okay. There's that Wapto. I got. You know, it's been so long. I forget now. Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah. You want to take the controls and just see how it feels? No. You don't? Rock them. What a, you just, just do it one Just hand. rock the wings a little bit. You'll just see how. See, that's going down now. Pull back a little bit. It's pretty sensitive. Yeah. They're doing 100 miles an hour ground speed right, right you now. You got it. <laughs> For 100 knots, we're actually giving 110 miles an hour. It doesn't feel like it, does it? No. Not at all. Oh. I've never been up to this area. I mean, I guess, I guess I've driven up that road. But to see this. Uh, now, how far up is the heat? Like twice the distance, three times? Yeah, this 25-mile uh, creek is up around this mountain right here. It is. Okay. Yeah. And so another 25 miles from there. So we're half, almost halfway up the lake. 
Yeah, we'll turn around right here until we come out of the meter. Okay. Amazing. I've flown up here with Lisa at low altitude, about 500 feet off the lake, uh -huh. which makes her feel comfortable, but makes me really uncomfortable because the lower you are, the more dangerous it is. Because, oh, really? Yeah, because you don't have any place to go. If suddenly the engine quit, you've got very few options at that point. Um, and there's very few options up here, even if you're up high. Okay. Um, it's not the safest place to fly, but uh, you have a little dangerous. But so, but because you're over the lake, there's less thermal. Yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot smoother over the water. You don't get the heat rising up like you do on the land. So this is 25 Mile Creek, and then this road right there that goes to a dirt road, and you know it's a, just kind of a back road going over to Ardenmore. Never even heard of that. You go, if you go up the Indiana Valley, yeah, all the way up the end. This yeah. road, there's a road that will take, take you back down to Japan, that way. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. That road right there, just an unimproved road. That you want to be there in a beat-up truck or something. Oh, okay. Sure, we're clear over here before I start turning. Okay. But if you wanted to, you could just 
just pad over there. You can go anywhere you want, really. Yes. Right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's no restrictions around here at all. I have 
had a good summer this so far. Yeah, God, you, you've been you know, over quite a bit this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. A lot of my friends on the other side are going, what the hell? <laughs> I'll see you guys in the winter. <laughs> yeah, the best, the best thing going for you is that, that Sue likes golf. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. See, that's my problem is I can't get Lisa to golf. I've been meaning to ask, did you and Joe ever, did you get them to come up putt putt? No. Did, it, did it go past Lily or did it go? I don't know. I, I told Lisa about it. She goes, well, why would I want to do that? <laughs> well, that's kind of where it all ended. Right now. Okay. And I think that Joe got the same response from Lily too. Well, I'll be honest with you. Terry and I both thought, no way in hell. No way in hell. <laughs> I can never give up hope, Bill. No, that's true. <laughs> I'm going to make a radio call. Here. Chelan traffic, uh, lights board 400, tiny limb is over the city of Chelan at 2,500, and uh, I'll be in down for 200 Chelan. I have not seen uh, slide waters. Boy, it's, 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 yeah, they're they're putting that new uh, wake, you know, the wake, uh, yeah. the surfing. I see that, I can see it. Yeah. yeah, that's going to be a big deal. Mother of Pearl, they've got a lot of land there they've developed. Uh, yeah. I have been there probably in 10 years or more. Oh, it's been 25 years since I've been there, yeah. maybe 30. You've got the Lazy River, it looks like. Yeah. It used to be, you know, we'd have to take care of all the little kids over here and they'd all want to go there. Yeah. None of us wanted to as adults, but we kind of, you know, had to take them there. So we're going over some bumpiness because we're over now over the heat. Okay. City coming out this heat coming off the city down here. Okay. So we're going to go over the BB Bridge and I'll make another radio call here at the BB Bridge. Okay. Hey, where is Chelan? Falls. I mean, the actual falls. Right, right below us. The actual falls is right below us. Yeah, I'll see if I can get over this way just a little bit and maybe tilt the wind down and maybe you'll be able to see it here. Oh, there, okay. There's the powerhouse down there. That road is, Stagecoach Road is really a nice walk. Okay. I'll get to make a radio call here. Uh, Schlamm traffic, Lightsport 400 Tango Lima is uh, over the BB Bridge and I'll be inbound on a 45 for 20 Flam on 2500 feet of Schlamm. So what we do when coming into an airport to land is you always go into a pattern. And so the patterns are basically the same for every airport. You come in a thousand feet above the airport, you, uh, you come in, Ideally, you come in on a downwind, you come in at 45 on the downwind, so we're going to come in like this, and then we're going to go down to the past the end of the runway, the threshold of the runway, and then past that we'll turn to our base turn, and then we come back and turn to our primary command. And the reason for that is when you get on an airport, you know where to look for other airplanes. You know that they're supposed to be in the pattern, so you know what elevation they're at, and you know when they say they're on a downwind, you know where, where to look. I see. Airplane. Okay. I know my buddy always asks, you know, which way the sock is blowing. Yeah, yeah. If you can't get a weather update, we can get one here, but it's calm. I can look at the river and see it's just dead cold. Yeah. So now we're just going to enter in the pattern here. I'm right at the right altitude right now. And then just on the other side of the river, I'm going to turn to the downwind and run parallel to the runway.
but we're, we actually land at 55 knots when I cross the threshold. That's the ideal landing. Now I'm going to start dropping down a little bit. And we're going to go over that pond over there as my target oh, line. Oh, okay. We're going to turn left over that pond, and that's my base trail, which I'll make a radio call signal on the pretty face. So you're going to come in this way? Yeah, you go back this way, this way, and then back in the room. Okay. And is there, is there times when you don't, that you come in the other way? Well, you can come, come straight in, but it's not desirable by the FAA. They, I could have made a radio call instead of coming straight in traffic and then anyway. Schlamm traffic, Lightsport 400, Hamlet Lima is turning a base turn for 20 Schlamm. So what I'm watching here is my airspeed and I'm watching my altitude and making sure that I'm on my pattern. I'm going to pull up the nose and get down to 55 knots and drop on the full flaps. Schlamm traffic, 400 Tango Lima is on final for 20 Schlamm. So now I'm just going to try to hold it about 55 knots coming in. Traffic 400 Tango Lima is clear of the active runway. Schlamm. So they can hear my radio calls in the hangar because I have a radio. Oh, so they knew exactly where yeah. we're at. Then. Yeah. Possibly they've never moved from there, but. They, I don't think they have. <laughs> See another day. Wow, that was awesome. 